Hey guys, just kidding. What's up y'all? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do that goddamn dreaded wing on a hooded eye. So if you guys haven't noticed, I usually do not include me doing my wing liner in my tutorials. And the reason why is because I've told you in tutorials before that I do it a little bit differently than what everybody else seems to do. And the reason why is because I have hooded eyes and if you are somebody that has hooded eyes which I know a lot of you are because y'all tell me um, the struggle is fucking hashtag so real when it comes to trying to do winged liner on hooded eyes if you don't know what hooded eyes are it's basically where the top part of your eye kind of hoods over your movable part of your lid therefore kind of hiding everything that you got going on so if i were to do a wing like the standard way how everybody else does it follow my lower lash line up and then take the line straight down this creased part of my eye would cut my eyeliner off which it does and it looks weird and then all you got is like this little wang hanging out and it's just not that appealing and unfortunately your eyeliner is not going to look like everybody else's uh, who don't have hooded eyes like you're not going to be up in here with some battle lash eyeliner <laughs> sorry to tell you but I feel like I found a trick in doing it that makes your wing a little bit more visible and it's a little bit more appealing than just doing it like the standard way or using like the rule of thumb when you're doing your eyeliner I do already have a video on this however that video is like and basically like an eyeliner 101 video where I talk about tight lining and putting liner in your waterline and lining your lid and everything else. So this video is going to be dedicated to those of you who solely just want to know how to bust out that wing. So let's go and do this. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in uh, so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing before we get into that though because somebody always asks. My nails are Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the color Sandstorm. The necklace that I have on, I got at the Renaissance Festival because I went to the Renaissance Festival last weekend. Um, and I got it at this like super cute like gypsy booth and they had like all these little things. I wish I would have got a belt. They had like belts like these and they were like ching, 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 you know, like little gypsy little belts. They were so fucking cute. I don't know why I didn't get a belt. Um, rings are for Amer from American Angle. If you ever want to know where my rings are from, I nine times out of ten buy my rings like my midi rings and my regular rings I usually buy them all at American Eagle um if I buy them somewhere else it's probably like Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe my flannels from Forever 21 and my watch shirt is from H&M so let's do this let's get into this let's fucking slay this wing shall we we shall I'm gonna zoom in all right let's do this shit girls uh, sorry if you can hear Hoyt barking. He is out on the chain right now because he chewed up one of Eden's Xbox controllers. So he is on punishment right now. So there are usually two types of eyeliners that I tend to go for when doing my wing. The first type is just a standard felt tip. One of my absolute favorite eyeliners is this one from Physicians Formula. It's called Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum supposedly has lash serum in it i don't really know if i believe that this as i've said before is a basic straight up exact dupe for the kat von d tattoo liner and trooper the next kind of liner that i like to use is a liner with a brush this one is the nyx matte liquid liner if you're not familiar with this it's basically just like a little pot and then you have the brush tip right here which is super super fine if you can see that um, the reason why I like to use this one is because I actually have pretty crepey eyelids um, and usually most people that have hooded eyes do because it's kind of like your eyes are like fat you know what I mean like they're like real fat and chunky like if they're hooded so basically with other liners when you go to line your lid um, it basically just puts that color on your lid whereas with this one it's like dripping so the color tends to like seep down in between my eyelashes does that make sense you know what I'm saying so like by using this one and like setting it on my lashes the excess product that's on the brush will like seep down in there and kind of fill in all those little like creases and gaps and stuff like that so if you are somebody that has creepy lids like I do definitely try like a liner like this today I'm going to use the physician's formula one um, just because this one is a newer one so I know it's pretty saturated before you even start doing this I would definitely suggest 
tight lining your eyes. If you do not tight line your eyes, you're gonna have that skin gap and it's just gonna look weird. Tight lining your eyes, basically just pulling up your lid and you know going in here with eyeliner, um, is going to allow your eyeliner to look a lot more seamless and a lot more put together. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's just get into the technique and I'll quit talking. I totally should have done a voiceover. I knew I should have because I talk too fucking much. All right, so let's go and do this. So the rule of thumb with eyeliner is to start at your lower lash line, which mine would be right here. Follow your lower lash line up, and I'm just using this brush as an example, I'm not gonna do that. Follow your lower lash line up, and then come straight down. And as you can see, my crease of my eye is going to cut that off. So basically what I do is I kind of swoop around that. So the first thing that I do is I don't actually draw a straight line. I kind of make my line a little bit curved and you guys will see like when I do it. So I just start at the corner of my eye and I kind of loop it up like that. So you see it's not like a perfect straight line. I hope I'm in focus. There is kind of like a loop to that, you know what I mean? All right, so the next step that I will do, rather than coming straight down like this, which is normally what kind of like the rule of thumb is and kind of what everybody else does, I kind of come down and go around the creased part of my eye. So you'll see that the creased part of my eye kind of ends right here. So I wanna make sure I don't take my, um, like my loop or the wing of my liner past this right here. So let me just let me just do it and show you. Okay. So basically what I do is I will start at the top and I will come down and around. And then bring it forward. So you see how instead of starting up here and going straight down, I kind of looped it down and around. And then I will go ahead and fill it in. And then you'll see like here how my eyes are creepy. So I've got like little skin spots, even though I've tight lined. So then I'll just take the brush and kind of get it right up in there. And then I missed a spot here. You can stop there if you want to, or you can even take it all the way to the middle of your eye. So that's basically all I do. And then once I get that part down, I will just kind of perfect it, maybe add to it if I want it to be a little thicker, maybe add to it if I want it to be a little bit longer. Then if I wanna to go to the corner, like take my liner all the way to the corner of my eye, which I normally do. If you have hooded lids, you want the smallest line possible because you want the eyeshadow on your lid to be a lot more visible than what the liner is because you don't want the liner like taking up all of the space on your lid. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you're wearing like a funky colored eyeshadow or something like that, like you don't want that liner covering that up. So basically what I'll do is, I and I won't curl my lashes yet, I will sit the pen right on my lash line and then I'll put a little bit of pressure on the pen and I'll kind of just let that ink like fill that space in. Do you know what I mean? And for a lot of you that don't even have as much visible space as I do, you can just tight line and then take a, just take like a pencil brush or a smudger brush. Um, a really good brush to use, where is it at? would be the Makeup Geek pencil brush because it is such a small, fine pencil brush. So what you could do is go ahead and tight line your eyes with an eyeliner and then just take that brush and kind of go in between the lashes and smudge it and then only do your wing on this outer portion, you know what I mean? So that way, when I am doing my eyeshadow, you can see when I'm looking forward, it's, you know, you can see the full wing. None of my wings getting cut off by the crease in my eye. So the trick to making your eyeliner visible when you have hooded eyes is rather than coming straight down is coming down in a swoop. And the reason why I kind of round it out out here is just because I think that it's more aesthetically pleasing um, because if I have it swooped over here and it's just a straight line, it can kind of look a little bit wonky. So that's why I kind of like to swoop it out on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and zoom out and then we will end this shit, okay, okay.
All right, y'all. So this is the finished look, so to speak. I went ahead and threw just a little bit of mascara on just so you guys could get like the full effect. You know what I mean? Um, I will tell you guys though that there is a disadvantage to doing your eyeliner this way. And it is if you are somebody that has more downturn eyes, because you're not starting right at that lower lash line and you're kind of swooping and coming out. So because you're putting your eyeliner out instead of straight up, um, it can tend to like pull your eyes down a little bit. So if you're somebody that has uh, more downturned eyes, this may not work for you. However, if you wear it on its own, like I'm doing right here, it can have a tendency to like pull my eyes down. However, when I put a bunch of makeup on and like smoke out my lower lash line, it does tend to rectify that. So just keep that in mind that if you have downturned eyes, um, it can have a tendency to pull your eyes down a little bit. However, if you're somebody that has smaller eyes, because you're starting outwards, it does elongate your eyes. So it gives your eyes the illusion of being a little bit longer and um, a little bit wider, if you know what I'm saying. I will tell you guys though that I have tried this tip or trick or whatever you wanna call it on clients with hooded eyes of all shapes and sizes. Clients who have you know, a decent amount of visible lid all the way to clients who have absolutely no visible lid. And on every client that I've tried it on, they were like the fucking Red Sea parted. They absolutely loved it and it worked on them. So hopefully it will work on you guys. Let me know if you try it in the comments and just kind of play with the shape of your eyes. When it comes to eyeliner, you really, it really boils down to you just knowing the shape of your eyes. For instance, um, your eyeliner, I know everybody's like so crazy about getting their eyeliner even, but I will tell you guys, this eye here droops down a hell of a lot more than this eye because um, I have a scar on this eye because I got in a car accident when I was younger. So the when my eyes are closed, the eyeliner on this eye will look different from the eyeliner on this eye. But when my eyes are open, they look the same. Do you catch my drift? Do you know what I'm saying? So don't be so focused on getting them completely even from side to side. Just be focused on having the look as a whole even, if you know what I mean. So I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. So definitely let me know in the comments if you tried it and if it worked. Just keep playing with it over and over and over. Play with different types of eyeliners and uh, once you get it down, you're gonna be like, oh my God, girl, you're welcome. So that is it for this video, y'all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat if you please. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.